back on the old UVL project today. Um, first thing I'm going to address this morning is uh, the brake backing plate. Mechanical, this is a big twin unit, and of course um, the brake stay on a big twin isn't going to fit the VL frame because that slot's really small. So this is just a standard big twin uh, mechanical uh, brake backing plate, pan head, knuckle head stuff. Um, so I've just cut the brake stay off right there, smoothed it, and I've left this uh, this plate riveted on. I'm going to try to retain that, that look. Um, and so I've got a uh, VL brake stay, and it fits into the slot like so. So I'm just going to position it and find a spot. We'll drill through, put the VL brake stay in there, weld it on, and I'm going to try to retain and not mess with these rivets and ret retain that factory look if I can. So all we did was poke a hole, drill a hole in the backing plate here and I flushed that up to the edge there. Plug welded it on the back. I had put it right there but uh, I didn't have enough adjustability so I had to Fill that in, re-drill, and 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 uh, move it over so that the uh, plate would have some slide. I think I got it in a spot where it's not going to cause any issues. We'll see once we get a rear stand on here, but for now, this is looking pretty good. There it is. that on there. Let's see. Got a pretty good amount of slide. I, I put it as far forward as I really could. It can go all the way forward and it lacks, you know, a quarter inch of being able to go all the way back, but I don't ever plan on running it that far back anyway. Ideally, when your chain's all set in, I'd like to be running it right in there somewhere, so it should be fine. So then you can see I, I clocked it a little bit um, clockwise from straight up and down like I was going to have it. So that's looking good. So next time I'm going to move on to uh, getting the front end put on there and try to start marking up front fender and brake and wheel and all that stuff. And I got, I got two options. I got um, this I-beam Springer. It's a repop. The German made ones, you know, uh, all big twin mount stuff, but it's got the I beam rear legs like a VL. So I got that one, or I've got this knuckle springer chromed. Um, I ain't decided which one I'm going to use yet. I think while I'm mocking it up, I'll probably use this one. And we'll see. So the big difference on these VL necks, um, they had an inch and an eighth stem on the front ends, and the neck cups are pretty sizable to use the ball bearings. This diameter here is especially bigger than your conventional uh, one inch stem big twin necks. Um, these neck cups, I'm not going to use these, I just got these kind of loosely set in place. They don't fit the neck because the uh, this part is too small on these. So um, when I do find some neck cups I'm going to use, I'm going to end up having to uh, uh, machine a spacer to uh, to make it fit the VL neck properly. Um, either that or I thought about modifying these um, to accept the Timken races. I don't know which way I'm going to go yet. Also I just took a crown nut. This was a, a ball bearing type crown nut and I just checked up in the lathe and, and removed the bottom section of it and then I shortened it by probably about a quarter of an inch. So I just got my bearing put on the on the stem here, dust cup. Let's see. Everything's just going together dry for now for the mock-up. Looks like I'm gonna have just enough room. It's just an old crusty top clamp. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. I 
Ah, looks like that'll be perfect. Nice. I think that'll work good. Oop. I have to do something for some fork stops. Because that is just hitting the leg right there. We don't want that. The other thing I'm going to do, uh, or the issue I'm going to address is when this four speed is in that VL frame, uh, this fifth mount is just hanging out in no man's land. Um, there's nothing there to support it when you're kicking the bike. So um, I'm going to sandwich. I've got this piece of plate steel cut out, and I've just laid out the four holes here and the fifth mount hole. We'll go drill them, and then we'll make that plate look pretty. But all it's going to do is uh, sandwich on the bottom side of the frame and um, support this out here on the transmission. It's a quarter inch plate steel. Should be something to keep a little stress off the case while you're kicking the bike and while it's running. So we'll go drill some holes. So here it is, it's going to fit over, frame will be here and this will plate on the bottom, Longer need longer studs of course, come in, pick up the fifth mount, and they go just like that, so I'm just that extra plate, hoping to support the end of this transmission, should rigid it up a little bit, so that's the idea. So when we got it on, it's something like that. Still got a hole for the drain. Should work pretty good. Clamp that transmission right on that frame. <laughs> 